Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today we're working on a little gauge cluster project for my 1990 Brick Nose Ford. Uh, it's a F350 crew cab, four wheel drive. It's got an IDI diesel, a five speed Dana 60. But uh, anyways, anyone that knows these old Fords knows the, the factory gauges are pretty well useless. And uh, I've, had a, I've had a set of autometer gauges worked into the factory cluster for a few years now. But I haven't had a working speedometer, so I'm going to rework this gauge cluster, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. As you can see, I've already got this cluster torn all the way apart. You can see the whole back of it's been cut out from where I replaced the factory gauges with a set of autometers. And uh, yeah, the factory speedometers never worked. The factory tack does. So I want to keep the factory tack functional because it's a pain to get a working tack. Anyways, I want to get rid of the factory speedometer and we're going to replace it with one of these GPS speedometers. Now, Autometer makes a few, but they're, they start about 350 bucks, go up to about 500. It's not worth it for this little project. So this is a little, uh, I think I gave 35 bucks for it, something like that. And it pretty closely matches my Autometer gauges that I've already got in there. And it's got good reviews on it. So we'll see if it works. Uh, as you'll figure out, I've got most of this video pre-recorded. I did a lot of the work in the house. Uh, my kids were running around being goofy, so I'm going to edit the audio out and just pretty well talk over, and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get the gist of it when, uh, when it comes up. So, anyways, here we go. As you can see, we've got the cluster laid out on the table here. This is uh, how I've been running it for the last few years. Uh, it's a factory cluster. It's been cut open and modified with three autometer gauges put through. Uh, cut out the back side of it and just let them clear through there with their own wiring harnesses for the lights and everything else. And the factory tack and such is still ran through the, uh, through the printed circuit. So if you take out the screws around the perimeter, the clear plastic cover will come off and then the black trim piece that goes around all the gauges will come off as well. It takes a little bit of finagling with one hand, but once it pops out of place, it's got four individual panels that just snap into the white main piece. And here we've got uh, the El Cheapo GPS speedometer I'm planning on using. It's an Amazon special. I think gave $34-ish for it, $35 for it. But it pretty closely matches the autometer gauges I've already got. So I think it'll work. It certainly beats paying, you know, $350, $400 for, for a gauge for a truck that just doesn't need it. But anyways, I've got a, another water temp gauge. The mechanical autometer gauge I've got in the cluster right now. I've been having issues with it. It'll hang up at random. So I think I have bent or kinked that capillary tubing at some point in the last couple of years so I'm going to go on and swap it out with one that's electronic. Now I've got the gauge cluster pretty well broken down and I've got all the individual panels pulled out. You can see they just kind of sit in place like so. Uh, the factory tack is the only thing that's going to stay that way it will lock into the factory cluster but I'll be cutting everything out to clear the new speedometer as well. So. Uh, here we go, we've got it all broken down now. Here's everything laid out. The three autometer gauges that I was running, the factory speedometer, and all the individual components of the factory cluster. I think, based on how everything looks, how everything lays out, I think it's gonna look pretty good when it's all together. It should do the trick. 
but uh, got a lot of cutting and trimming to do, but uh, it should turn out. We'll see. Back out in the garage, got a Dremel tool with a carbide cutter in it. Makes pretty quick work of cutting through all this uh, this factory plastic gauge face. Um, just stripped the factory mechanical speedometer out from behind the gauge face and uh, pretty well just cut it out so the uh, new GPS speedometer will fit right through it. I think this will work out pretty nicely. We'll see. So just getting a rough fit to see how much of the back I'm going to have to cut out as well. And it looks like pretty well all of it. So. Now, this gauge fits down through the back. And yes, this board's been cut. That's fine. It's been cut for years. All it still powers is the lights on this side of the cluster and the signal for the tack and the bulb for the tack, which all that still works because all the power for it comes in right here. So I will likely trim this off over here and seal it up. That way I don't have any uh, potential issues down the road because all these gauges have their own lights and you may be wondering about these bulbs over here these warning lights and such turn signal bulbs i've ran those with individual sockets and individual wires off of the harness that comes into the back of the cluster so it no longer reuses the printed circuit but anyways i'm gonna go back in the house and start buttoning all this stuff up and get it ready to paint this and the backing for these. Get them painted up so they will still match the factory tack and uh, should be pretty well good to go. I got the cluster back together. I really like the way it looks. So hopefully this uh, cheap GPS speedometer works. I got a little bit of trimming to do on this piece, which slides up in the bottom here to block off where the, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it or not with the glare, but uh, blocks off where the automatic transmission range selection is. And uh, after that, all that's left is a little bit of wiring and uh, tuck it back in the truck and hopefully she works. Well, got everything put back together and everything's working. I'll probably change uh, the bulbs out in those autometer gauges for some LEDs to uh, get it to match the speedometer, but it's close enough for now and I can see it at night. So anyways, we'll uh, give this thing a test drive and see how it holds up and see how accurate it is and go from there. Well, it's been a few days and so far I'm really happy with how this cluster's turned out. The GPS is working really well. Um, I checked its accuracy using two different GPS units. It's been spot on. Um, so far I've got, looks like, 
67 miles on it total. It uh, it does keep track of total mileage, so it stores that in memory. It doesn't uh, it doesn't automatically reset. There's no way to reset it. Um, trip mileage resets every time the ignition's cycled, which isn't a big deal for me. It works good, so uh, yeah. Uh, I will be changing the bulbs out in these three gauges here for a little bit brighter LED to match this one here. And I've got some little things I wanna change. I wanna, I need to fill that hole on cause I've got a little bit of light coming in from behind it, which shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, yeah, overall I'm, uh, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, especially for the price. So uh, yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. Um, Heck, if I get a year or two out of it, I'd be, I'd be happy. I mean, it's pretty quick to change out, and for thirty-five bucks, I think it was, on Amazon, uh, yeah, it was worth it. So uh, I appreciate you all watching. If you would, uh, please subscribe. I've got a few other things coming up here soon. I've got the Jeep in the shop right now, uh, tearing into it. Going to be changing the uh, the wastegate out on it. And then uh, Project Nightmare is going to be coming back here in another week or so. Uh, we've got a bunch of parts on order for it, just waiting for them to show up. So, uh, anyways, we'll see you later. Thank you.